In the past 24 hours, as many as 23 people have died and hundreds have been displaced following torrential rains and flash flooding in Sindh and Balochistan. With three more deaths in Lisbela, the death toll in Balochistan has risen to 207. Power supply and cell phone networks remain suspended in most of the flood-hit areas and the situation does not seem to be improving. In Musa Khel, Zob, Pishin, Qila Saifullah, Qila Abdullah and Lasbela are still receiving torrential rains since the past two days. The Pakistan Meteorological Department has forecast more heavy rains in Sindh and Balochistan in the next 48 hours. Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa has met U.S. Central Command Commander General Michael E. Carilla at the GHQ and discussed matters of mutual interest. According to a statement by the military's media wing, matters of mutual interest, regional security situation, defense and security cooperation, particularly military-to-military -military ties, were discussed during the meeting. The Pakistan-US military training exchange program also came under discussion. The visiting dignitary also acknowledged Pakistan Army's commendable efforts in the fight against terrorism. Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf has announced the schedule for its chairman's marathon public meetings in 17 major cities. Imran Khan would kick off the campaign from Rawalpindi on Sunday to be followed by Haripur on August 24th and Karachi on August 26th. According to the schedule, a rally would be held in Sakhar on August 27th, Peshawar on August 28th, Jhelum and Attock on August 29th and August 31st, respectively. The former Prime Minister will also address public rallies in Quetta, Gujrawala, Faisalabad, Multan, Sargodha and Gujarat. Earlier, the PTI postponed its Karachi rally scheduled for today due to torrential rains. The UN chief and the presidents of Turkey and Ukraine have discussed ways to end the war started by Russia and secure Europe's largest nuclear power station, which has come under shelling at the front lines. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres told reporters after talks in Leave Ukraine he was gravely concerned by circumstances at the Zaporizhia nuclear plant and called for military equipment and personnel to be withdrawn. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan said Guterres and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky discussed building on recent positive atmosphere to revive peace negotiations with Russia that took place in Istanbul in March.